hi all in this video i will explain prime ng multi select in the previous video i have explained prime ng uh, drop down uh, or how to implement this uh, drop down using prime ng library the similar way it has some differences but i will explain again uh, for this multi select okay so we'll go on to the code When you go to the Prime NG applications, when you filter a multi select option, you can see the tutorial of the Prime NG here itself. So, for implementing a Prime NG in a sorry, for implementing this multi select drop down inside the Prime NG, you have to use Angular CDK. That is same in case of drop down as well. So, make sure while installing Prime NG, you have already installed Angular CDK. How to make sure that is go to your project and go to package.json. So, inside that, make sure Angular CDK has been already installed. Okay, that is the first step. The second step is like we have to import the multi select module in order to use a Prime NG multi select. So, you have to import that one. So it should be imported inside a module, Angular module. So if you are if you have the main module as the app.module.ts, you can import there. Then it will be available in the all uh, all the components. But if you are using a lazy loading or if you have uh, using different module instead of app.module.ts, make sure wherever you are planning to use this multi select prime ng drop down, you should use that you should import that prime ng multi select module there only okay so here i don't have any other component or any any other module actually so i i am going to import here directly itself so i'm importing multi select drop down multi select module here and in the import section also i will import it this is the first, second step so angular cdk should be there then multi select module should be imported so it won't work if you are uh, importing multi select drop down only so make sure you are importing browser animation module as well okay so this point is not mentioned there else if you try if you're not uh, using this uh, browser animations module you will get one error okay so that i will show you what is the error if you are not using prime ng animation sorry uh, browser animation modules so these are the two points the two modules you have to import is browser animation modules and the multi select module this is the second step after saving that the next step is like we are uh, going to use this multi select tag inside the html that is the third step okay so this is the tag and uh, we have to use an options we have to use an ng model so it, it is an ng model or a form control name okay so it is based on the which uh, which form you are using okay so i'm just copy pasting this and i'm putting i'm using this prime ng uh, multi select inside our um, html okay this is the third step so what is options okay what are the elements you have to show inside a drop down that comes under a multi select for example in my case i am calling an endpoint for getting a users list and i am going to show a drop down with the multi select option which contains all the users list okay for that purpose I have an API which uh, which will call a dummy JSON. Okay, for your case, it will be an API again. For my case, I just created. Just assume that it is coming from the endpoint. I'm just uh, recreating it using a dummy JSON. So this is the label and this is the value. So uh, what I can do is like uh, if I want to display a name. Uh, joy and recall the names in the drop down and when i select a particular user if i want to get this particular value you can use the structure uh, like this way so it is not mandatory so i am just replacing it is not mandatory the uh, field name is label uh, and value so it, which which can be anything 
first i will show one example with label and value what happens okay i will show an example so if this is the json i want to display inside a drop down and in the component.ts uh, i am just uh, calling that uh, services i am getting the response so i what i am going to do is like i am assigning this user list into a variable and i am assigning response into that variable and i am declaring that variable also so this is the options i have so i am overriding the set is with my options ng model what if what if i select a value from the drop down that value will be stored inside an ng model so you can mention it as a selected user whatever name you can mention there and make sure it is declared here this is the second step third step i am leaving it for now i will check what happens okay we can make sure all the details has a, a details is displaying here okay so you can see all the options from the endpoint my endpoint it is uh, showing here and if i select uh, some value should be uh, should be uh, stored in the selected user so for showing purpose i am just displaying here selected user this same so it will be an empty so it should be actually an array so i am just making this instead of an empty since this is a multi select you know if i select something it should be pushed to this array that is happening so i am just ass assigning this as an array first if i select one thing the email id will be stored here if i select the second thing the next value email id what the email id will how this is happening how it will identify multi select drop down how it will be identify that okay the name should be shown as a label when i select it email id should be shown as a value how it will be automatically identify okay this is based on the json so my json if whatever contains a label as a key automatically it will identify that okay label is the one i have to show here and email id is the one which i have to show for example if i change a label as the mail id second i can show you another example if i change the label to name so i am replacing label with a name i am replacing value with email what happens you can see it is showing object object so multi select drop down won't be able to identify which field i have to show as a label and which field i have to show as a value so which is unable to identify by the multi select drop down for identifying that you can we have an option called option label option label equal to if you are giving which label so from the back end api it is not mandatory it will be always label value so it will be a different name so you can mention option label equal to this one so that is what it is mentioned in the prime ng section option label name or whatever the field it, it will be save it okay i can show you now it is identifying this is the field i have to select it then what happens when i select a values what happening it, it will show the whole object so whatever value it is unable to identify what is the value i have to show so what it is doing is like when i select one option it will return all this data inside the selected user array so if you need only the email id there is again an, another option called option value equal to then you can mention email then 
you can see whatever I am selecting it will be like this uh, you know email id is already pushing into that array so it is an option label and option value you can specifically mention based on that it will work okay then um, you can see uh, this is one option and uh, by default it is not showing anything so if that is the case you can mention a placeholder as well then automatically one text will be shown then placeholder is also shown this is another option uh, for Prime NG. then uh, next option I am going to talk is like if you want to apply a filter uh, option then filter equal to I think already filter is there Sorry. okay automatically it will the filter is all already automatically work inside this multi select option so we don't have to specifically mention the filter sorry for that okay then next point is like uh, if you want to make uh, this as a chips chip means i can show you an example so th this is the by default uh, template uh, so it will be automatically come with the comma separated so it does something like if you want to make uh, with some designs and a chip like structure what you can do is like we are giving a display option is equal to chip so if you are giving display equal to chip display equal to chip and if you save it you can say the design will be changed and uh, it will be show like this way okay the next thing i am going to show is like uh, if you want this is like the length of the it is getting increasing of the size of the input is getting increasing if you are adding more multiple elements okay so if you want after uh, two elements you want to show dot 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 or if you are mentioning uh, some message or something like that we have an option called okay max selected labels and you have to give selected item labels i can show you so max i am just changing to two after two elements has been selected show this error message show this message something like that okay so what happens if i select two items and after i am if i am selecting it I think it is it won't work for a chip sorry for that it won't work for a chip actually let me try this way you can see after the third items the third items has been selected it will become three items selected okay so this message will be shown after sometime so we have a lot of options are available here so if you go through so for example if you want to change the template okay template means if you want to change the design and all we have an option called advanced with the filtering option so if you want to uh, give an image then text and when you select also that image with text should be shown so we have a lot of virtual scroll option is available so when you go through this tutorial you know it will be all it, it explained very in very detail and if you want to disable some of the fields also it is very possible we are this so it, it is uh, everything has been mentioned here just go through it uh, 